Hey everyone, this week's topic is the area of quadrilaterals. Last week I mentioned the area of a parallelogram and I just wanted to demonstrate why that's true. We'll start with a familiar one. The area of a rectangle is base times height. So here's a parallelogram, similarly base B, height H. I'm just going to slide over this segment and we can turn our parallelogram into a rectangle. Because, uh, and this has the exact same area, so similarly the area of a parallelogram is also base times height. Because this formula works for all parallelograms, that means we can use it for rectangles, we can use it for parallelograms, we can use it for rhombi, and we can use it for squares. Let's start with an easy example, a simple example. Uh, here our parallelogram has a base of 5 inches, a height of 3 inches, so its area is 3 times 5, 15 inches squared. Ignore my typo. Uh, we should be able to apply this to the coordinate plane as well. So here we're given the vertices. Our first step should be plot each of the corners. A is at 2, 1, B is at 3, 4, C is at 8, 4, and D is at 7, 1. And then we'll draw the shape. Now clearly this is a parallelogram and our side is horizontal so we'll count that up as 7. Sorry, we'll count it up. Our side is 5. And we can count the height, just straight up and down, is 3. So just like before, the area is 5 times 3, which is 15 square units. So let's check the next example. We're going to start the same way. First is to plot our coordinates A, B, C, and D. A is at 1, 3. B is at 5, 0. C is at 8, 4. And D is at 4, 7. If we connect all these up, this one looks like a square. Unfortunately, because it's slanted, its sides aren't horizontal or vertical, we have to actually use the distance formula or the Pythagorean theorem. So for AB, I'm going to turn it into a right triangle. From A down is 3 units, from B left is 4 units, so it's the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared. That's 9 plus 16, so it's the square root of 25, which luckily enough is just 5 units. Let's repeat this to find the side length for AD. I'm going to turn that into a right triangle. Counting from A up is 4 units, and from D left is 3 units, so it's the same thing, 3 squared plus 4 squared and the square root. So now the area is its base 5 times its height 5, so it's 25 square units. There's a few other quadrilaterals we have that we need area formulas for, so kites and rhombi are their distance form or area is based off of the diagonals. So I'm going to draw this diagonal, call that D1. I'll draw the next diagonal, and I'll call this one D2. The area of a kite and a rhombus using the diagonals is 1 half diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. For a trapezoid, it's based off of the base is in height, so we'll call the top side, or the bottom side base 1, and the top side base 2. And then we'll find the height the same way, it's just straight up and down. The area of a trapezoid is 1 half, base 1 plus base 2, times the height. So let's see an example of both of these in action. First one is a kite, so I'm going to go 1 half, diagonal 1, which is 14, multiplied by diagonal 2, which is 8. If we type this into the calculator, we will get that it is 56 centimeters squared. And now let's run through the area of a trapezoid. It is 1 half base 1 plus base 2 times the height. So 1 half of 2 plus 4 is uh, 2 plus 4 is 6, half of 6 is 3, 3 times 3 is 9 squared units. Thank you.